the people that did the shooting, you all destroyed a family. Not one family, but two families. My nephew never had the chance to talk. He learned how to walk. He, he never learned how to do anything else. And it's a shame that you destroyed both of these families. I just want to say, I got my sister up here with me. Marcus' grandmother. I got his mother. I got his father. I got his nephew. I got his other grandmother, Jamila. I got his aunt Rainy, and I'm up here. I just need for someone in this world to come clean about Marcus being killed and him being. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a shame that we got to have to go through what we went through. I just need someone to come and say who, what, who the shooters were that took this baby's life. I go to this grave site. I see this baby in his grave. You know, I sit there and play with him. I talk to him. Like, you know, he's not gone. He's still here because he's still here in our hearts with all of us. Amen. I'll never forget baby Marcus. And I will forgive the people that did the shooting, but can the people please turn themselves in who did the shooting on baby Marcus? That's all I got to say. No, he'll never be forgotten. He's always in my heart. Always in all of our hearts. We'll never forget about baby Marcus. I just need them to come clean. Someone in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, please come clean of baby Marcus being gunned down in East Hills on May the 21st, 2013. Please, somebody. That's it. Give her a hand. Give her a hand. She did great. She took a lot of courage to get up there and speak. Every eye closed, every head bowed. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to stand against evil in our community. Father God, we thank you again for all that you have done for us. We thank you, God, because you've given us a mind to do the right thing. And we believe, Father God, that with your help, we can bring uh, to justice the murderers of our children in the community. And Father God, we also, as we come today, we're praying for all the children in our community. Father God, open their mind and understanding that they might know that they make a difference and that they can make a difference and that we love them, Father God, and we will not stand by idly uh, and while they're being murdered for no reason. Now, God, because you're able, we leave it in your in your capable hands. Amen, amen, amen. What we're talking about right now is not a stranger in the community. Really, it's too routine, and we have to find a way to make it less routine than what it is today. And the beauty is it starts right here with us. See, I was always worried about what it would take to make us come forward and begin to protect our community. And there should be nothing more sacred, and there is nothing more sacred in this life than the life of a baby. Uh -huh. There's nothing more sacred. There's nothing that we have that we should protect more than the life of a baby. Right. Right. I plead to the community. This is not about snitching. I hear that all the time. We don't snitch, we don't snitch. We just continue to go on and live life like we've been living it. But that's not our history. Our history is not that of a people that won't talk. So here's what I need our community to understand. I don't need you to snitch. I need you to testify. I need you to begin to talk about what happened to this baby, who did it, and begin to point fingers. Because we can't continue to let the perpetrator get away with killing a child and call himself a man knowing he took the blood of the innocent. We can't afford it. That's death in our community. And when we don't do something to stop the death in our community, then we're just as responsible as the ones who did it. It's time for us to come together. Uh -huh. We got an obligation and we got a responsibility. Yes. If you know something, talk. If you're scared to talk, write in a nom and silent complaint for him. Do something to bring justice to baby Marcus. He deserves it. He never even had a chance to walk. He never had a chance to even talk. 
He didn't do anything to deserve what happened to him. Anybody in this city that knows something about what happened to this baby, come forward. Come forward. We need you. If we won't stop the killing in our community, no one can stop it but us. We've always been the ones to change everything that's happened in our community, in our city, and in this world. We don't have to wait for nobody to help us but us. We need you to come forward. We need you now. You want justice for this baby? All y'all talk about we tired of the killing in the community. All y'all that's been talking the talk, let's walk the walk and come on and talk about what happened to baby Marcus. And together, we can bring healing, not only to our neighborhood, but for this whole entire city. Thank you. State Representative Ed Ganey earlier said, we have to put down the word snitching. Because my definition that I've heard of snitching is snitching occurs between criminals, people who are committing crimes. So if you're not committing crimes and you know what happened to Marcus L. White Jr., you are, you are providing information. You're not snitching. In our Coalition Against Violence document, we call it responsible reporting. Can we say that? Responsible reporting. And the next time you hear somebody say that you're snitching if you call about what happened to Marcus L. White Jr. or any other of the hundreds of young black people who have died in our city, in our county, in our nation, thousands across the nation, you correct them. You tell them we are not snitching. You are reporting. And you can do it anonymously. If we don't do that, we allow the next gun to be shot. We allow the next child to be injured or killed. We allow the next family to cry. And if you and I don't take this seriously, when we know something, report it. You don't have to put yourself in danger, but you can report it anonymously. Can we say anonymously? anonymously? Do you know what that means? You don't have to give your name, address, or phone number, but you need to give the information. That's right. And we need to put the guns down. If you have guns in your house, put them away and lock them up. Lock them up. Let's get it done. Let's give a hand to Larry Davis. Come on, Larry. phone number if you have any information at all you can provide that information anonymously on the answer machine the telephone number is 412-621-7788 again the telephone number is 412-621-7788 there is no caller id attached to this answer machine at all so if you have any information to provide please please give that uh, number a call and leave a message this family up here is a strong family. Amen. I'll say it again. This family up here is a strong family. Amen. And I wish that no one has to go through the hurt, the pain, the hearing their baby cry in the next room and then going into the next room and that baby's not there and remembering that your baby was assassinated should never ever have to happen again. We as parents have an obligation to stand up. We as parents have an obligation to ask the assistance of the police force. We need the working cameras, not the cameras that are dumb dumbs. Not in our areas. Our areas are the worst areas. And they're black areas where all the shootings are. We need the city council from each city, each part of the city, to come together and quit acting like the gangs. We need you to come together and make comprehensive things for the people of Pittsburgh. Not just for one part of Pittsburgh. We need to take the politics out the game. Right now we have the biggest gangs 
They can't even get the, get the country together. The Republicans and the Democrats. Well, they act like they're gangs too because they won't cross lines. And this is not what the people want. This is what they want. So we need to get together to have more of these so this never, ever happens again. My name is Larry Darnell Davis. I'm the CEO of the Coalition for Father and Families. I want to thank everyone for coming and have a safe day. Again, we want to thank everyone for coming and supporting this family. And I just want to make one final statement before I leave. I want to say that um, you need to take a stand. Anytime someone loses a child, you need to stand behind that family. You do not need to wait until it's someone close to you, until it's at your doorstep. So you can either stand now and stand behind this family and be proactive in preventing it, or you can stand later, because it's, it's happening to everyone's family. You stand now or you'll stand later. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs>